Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Microwave Engineering and Optical Communication. In today's class, we are going to see about waveguide aperture types. Okay. So first we need to know what are these particular waveguide aperture. Okay. So when a coupling is required between two waveguides of different cross-section areas, this particular aperture coupling or the waveguide apertures are preferable or considered. Okay. So what are these apertures actually? These are nothing but the small windows or we can say small cuts. If you consider uh, a waveguide like this, okay? So, a small cuts at the side of the waveguides or on the top or the bottoms of the waveguides, okay? A small cuts or a small gaps, okay? Or slots in the walls of the waveguides can be considered as this particular apertures, okay? Now, these apertures are uh, uh, mainly used to uh, couple to different waveguides of different cross-sectional, okay? So, what happens whenever some energy is transmitting through this particular apertures means? So, the uh, they unbalance the electromagnetic field distribution inside the waveguide, okay? So, which uh, results in the energy transfer between the any two waveguides, okay? So, due to these apertures, there will be unbalance with respect to the electromagnetic field distribution inside the waveguide. So, what we have inside a waveguide? Microwaves, right? So, this particular microwave get, gets unbalanced, okay? Due to which uh, the passage of energy will be happening between these particular waveguides, okay? This particular theory was initially uh, developed by the hands bet okay so so they have uh, considered with respect to both uh, radiating electromagnetic or the electric field or the magnetic field or we can just simply call it as a magnetic as well as electric dipoles okay so what happens how they are proportional means uh, proportional means the dipole moments of both magnetic as well as electric dipoles are completely proportional to the a tangential magnetic field and normal electric field of the incident wave, whatever the wave which is given as an input, okay. So, that particular wave will be having a tangential magnetic field as well as normal electric field, right. So, as they will be perpendicular to each other. So, these are somewhat proportional to the dipole moments of magnetic as well as electric dipoles, okay. So, respectively. Now, So, if you see the diagram over here, so these waveguides, what you see over here are having small cuts, which we are considering it as window slots or apertures, through which the passage of energy of an electromagnetic wave will be done from one waveguide to the another waveguide, okay? So, the aperture coupling in the waveguide can be of two types. So, mainly one is like electric field coupling as well as the magnetic field coupling, okay? So, mostly the orientation of the aperture with respect to these fields determine the type of aperture coupling, okay? So, based on the orientation of the aperture, that means whether that particular small cuts or windows or slots are top or bottom of the waveguide or whether that particular aperture slots, windows, are at the sides of the waveguide based on that particular orientation the respective fields it can be an electric field or a magnetic field will be determined by the type of aperture coupling okay so what are the best example the directional couplers power dividers are the best examples of aperture coupling especially in the waveguides okay and why means here, what we are considering here, we are considering electromagnetic power or the energy is transferred from one waveguide through the another waveguide using this particular slots, windows or the apertures, right? Okay. So, uh, this particular aperture coupling in waveguides is especially very, very important whenever there is an energy transferring from one waveguide structure to the another waveguide structure okay so on the whole what we can observe is then aperture type will be with respect to the fields electric field and magnetic field where apertures are nothing but a small cuts or a holes or we can call it as slots or the windows 
through which the energy can be transmitted from one waveguide to the another waveguide. That is how the waveguide aperture is determined. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.